Hello, good evening everybody and welcome to the Lotus Council. This is Court and I figured I'd uh, just go live to open some packs here. Zenikar Rising, I don't know if anybody uh, is out there. Oh hey, Fef, how's it going? Hello, so good to see you. I'm glad you could stop by. How's Fef doing tonight? I'm doing. I'm doing good. Um, I had an interesting day today. Um, I was actually off of work, and I was part of a focus group uh, today, so that coupled with my uh, vacation time, I made quite a bit of money today, so um, unfortunately I can't sign up for that very often, but uh, when I do get a chance to do it, it, uh, it works out pretty great. So check out this really cool buy a box promo soon as it there we go so this is the buy box promo for Zenicar rising cool foil courtesy of geekified.us <clears throat> so <clears throat> we've got a couple of boxes here right um, so there I have three draft booster boxes um, I have a set booster box that was sent to me courtesy of Wizards of the Coast. Um, hashtag sponsored. Thank you very much for that free product. Um, and then, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So we're definitely going to go through at least one box uh, of the draft tonight. And um, we might switch over to the set booster box. Um, just kind of depends. So, Fef, have you opened any Zendikar Rising packs yet? I don't know if you've gotten your hands on any yet. Being that it just came out today. No. Well, I... Oh. Oh, Okay. Right. so and we'll see here so this is the little thing that uh, they put in here to semi secure the wonderful box topper um, God, I, I really hope there's something good in here and not a creeping tar pit <laughs> oh boy okay well so I'm just going to flip this over get some nice piles there okay so let's see Fef what do you think is going to be in the first pack what's what's the rare or mythic that you think will be in the first oh these packs are loose man I don't know if anybody has noticed these these packs are pretty loose more so than you know, some of the more recent sets, right? Oh, let's see. All right. So, I'm going to say this is going to be a mythic. I don't know which one. Oh, it's got that little pre started slit there to make it easier to open. Oh, are these reversed packs? I think these are reversed packs, everybody. Uh, let's see. So, come on. You know you want to do it. All right, let's just go. Hello? Okay. Magmatic Chandler. Okay. So, these packs are reversed, so... It's going to be land, rare, 
and then Malakir Rebirth and Malakir Mire. Marasa Sproutling and a Rock Slide Sorcerer. So that's, you know, somebody probably knows. I, I always forget. Um, based on where the, what printer did the box, I think determines whether the, the cards are in the normal order of all commons, three uncommons, and then the rare mythic, right? Um, but these ones, um, I believe these came from the Chinese printer. Um, just guessing based on the box that it was delivered in. Um, so let's see here. Oh, no worries, Fef. How is the baby doing today? Oh, full art swamp. Very nice. Oh, second pull. My girl Nissa. That that's very nice. I, I love opening planeswalkers. Oh poor guy. Is he still teething, Feth? Because that that can cause an issue for sure, as you well know. Uh Akum Warrior, Akum Teeth, a Skyclave Shadow Cat, and a Rune Crab. Uh let's see. So are there any good commons in here for Popper? Anybody looking forward to add to their lists? I know so many teeth, like, reminds me, did you ever see that uh, old horror movie called Critters? Um, <laughs> kind of like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, arena card. You know what? I'm going to throw these down here. Um. So it's advertisement card. All right, full art. Here, let's full art forest. Oh, showcase lotus cobra on pack number three. God, that's so beautiful. Let me see if I can get that to. So beautiful. I love the showcase frame, and that art is just so vibrant. Make a nice play mat. Uh, Colony Ambush, Soaring Thought Thief, and a Journey to Oblivion. See, this journey is really nice when it has, uh, when you've got your whole party. It, it's basically, it, it drops the cost down to um, just one white. So, um, or, yeah, when you have your whole party on board. Um, it's just so fun. Oh, Negate, always fun. see okay so Feth, what is the uh what is the number one card you're looking for from from this set to add to your collection oh nice copy token full art island so i love the islands it's so pretty Oh, foil core blade master, not bad, uncommon. Oh, legion angel. Okay. See, this one I think um, this one might see some play. I mean, it's not bonkers crazy, um, but it it could be interesting. Uh, Salundi vision, canyon Jerboa, and spoils of adventure. Let me put this... I'll put that foil up there. Nahiri? Yeah, I hear you. Uh, you know, Nahiri's uh, full art planeswalker is... It's just gorgeous. Um, core warrior. Full art forest. And a Nighthawk scavenger. A strictly better vampire Nighthawk, I think it is. Very interesting card. Black Bloom Rogue, Spring Mantle Cleric, oh, it doesn't want to focus, and a Concerted Defense. Yeah, let's see if there's anything else to get in here. Yep. Okay. I need to move that back up a little bit. Oh, yeah. 
the the full arts are just as far as I'm concerned, um, I, I wish they would just stick with the full arts and the extended arts to me are, are not that great looking. Um, illusion token, full art swamp, a foil thundering spark mage. Man, that's that's a nice foil. And a roiling vortex for the rare. Akum Warrior, Sure-Footed Infiltrator, and a Mine Carver. Yeah, the full art. In, you know, another thing that's kind of growing on me too, Fef, are the uh, uh, the art cards. Um, you know, they started in Modern Horizons, and they were just kind of okay. And, you know, the only thing is the art cards don't really, right now, they don't really have any value. They don't hold value. Um, some of the ones with the, the gold foil stamped artist signature, uh, that might go somewhere. Um, but I just think they're gorgeous. Put them together in a, uh, panorama or something, right? So there's a mountain and a myriad constructs for the rare. A McKinney Stampede, Vastwood Surge, and a Little Mage's Familiar. Yeah, they are. They definitely are very nice. And, oh, okay. Well, I'm going to have to check all the cards from now on because this one had a showcase common at the very back. So, have to keep an eye on that. Um, I will just put that there. So, this is more of like a, a stream tech question, Fef, but... Um, as you can see, my camera is on autofocus, right? And it, it kind of has a hard time uh, in between cards. Um, oh, yeah. Um, is it better to have it autofocus or is it better to uh, find the the fixed focus and go from there? Um, Coral Helm Chronicler is our rare Song Mad Treachery. Come on. Cleric of Life's Bond. And a Sky Skyclave Plunder. Yeah, I I was messing around with the fixed earlier for uh before I was getting ready and it, it's just hard to it's a lot of trial and error. Um, we got a Full Art Planes. Master of Winds. Flying. When Master of Winds enters the battlefield, draw two cards, then discard a card. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery or wizard spell, you may have Master of Winds base power and toughness equal or become 4 1 or 1 4 until end of turn. Okay. I interesting. Uh, County Ambush, Shatter Skull Minotaur, and Base Camp. Hey, Mason, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. We're just opening some Zendikar Rising right now. Um, going through here, see what we get, and hopefully it's some good stuff. We already pulled a uh, Showcase Lotus Cobra and a Nissa of Shadowed Bows. So, hopefully the good pulls can continue. Uh, full Art Planes. An Ondu Inversion. Destroy all non-land permanents for eight. And, of course, this is the cassette lands, as the professor calls them, or modal lands, or... Dual face card, modal lands, whatever you like to call them. Um, so that's our first one of those. Uh, Relic Golem, Goma Fada Vanguard, and Blood Chief's Thirst. Oh, that would be nice. I would love to pull an Omnath. Um, one of my favorite cards, actually, and I would not mind making a new commander deck, so... There's always that, right? 
Yeah, modal dual face cards. That's, that's just a lot. That's a lot of syllables to say, though, Mason. <laughs> you know, um, got to come up with some shorter deal. So we got a full art mountain, a foil veteran adventurer. Oh, another MDFC, Riverglide Pathway. Or no, I'm sorry. This is just the dual land. Um, so this is the blue and red dual land. Very nice. Uh, move that to about right there. Okay. Uh, Lithoform Blight, a Skyclave Pickaxe showcase frame. Very nice. And a Moss Pit Skeleton. Just make sure we're not missing any... And we would have another showcase frame. Those are so cool. Oh, for sure, Fef. For sure. We'll see if uh, if we pull that. I'll I'll write your name on it with a sharpie immediately. <laughs> All right, we got a planes. Come on. Hello. Glass Pool Mimic. Very nice. Low Mage's Domination. And a Kite Cell Cleric with a Thundering Rebuke. Yeah, see if we've got any... Okay. Oh, no? Oh, I thought... Well, we want to make sure everybody knows it's yours and it doesn't get lost like your Gitrog. I, I swear, your, your Gitrog just, he, he ran off. Oh, a Foil McKindy Ox. Okay, showcase frame. Oh, Skyclave Relic. Not bad. A McKindy Stampede, Core Blade Master, and a Thundering Spark Mage. Oh, I just put those in the wrong pile. I hate when I do that. <laughs> yeah, I swear, he... he uh, he got transported to... You know what? You know what happened, Fef? Um, his Planeswalker Spark ignited, and he got transferred to a realm that we haven't visited yet. That's what happened. <laughs> oh, man. That that has to be... That is now canon in my head, Fef. I'll have to tag Watsy on Twitter about that. Uh, so, Full Art Mountain. Oop. Oh, Crawling Barons. A Sajiri Shelter, Merfolk Wind Robber, and a Relic Amulet. Oh, what do I think a five-color Omnath would be? Um, an all-powerful being? Honestly, to me, you know, he's been increasing in colors, right? And... How cool would it be is when he gets his fifth color that he becomes a planeswalker, right? His spark ignites. He has the fifth color of mana, and would that would that be the first five color planeswalker? I don't I don't know. Something to keep me honest. Right, I agree, Fef. A five color Omnath is going to be disgusting, unless he's on your side of the battlefield right uh you got a mountain oh malrog fury of akum another mythic so let me just pulling mythics aside here um yeah that would be a five color omnath would be ridiculous uh, Black Bloom Rogue, Umara Mystic, and a Skyclave Pickaxe. Um, how am I on the audio there, Fef and Mason? You guys hear me okay? Am I too loud? Too quiet? I just need to stop talking. Which, what do you think? An Elemental God? That'd be that'd be crazy. For a five-color Omnath. I mean, that makes sense, right? It's kind of a... a Thanks, Mason. Appreciate that. Thanks, Beth. Um, that would be crazy. 
crazy good, but, you know. Okay, here we go. We've got an island. Foil Cliffhaven Kite Sail. Nahiri's Lithoforming. Uh, for the rare. Palaka Predation. Ooh, Brushfire Elemental. Look at that. That's. I wish this was a foil. That would be so nice as a foil. And a Demon's Disciple. Uh, another negate. See if we have any other. Nope. Yeah, right, Feth? It's the, some of the showcases are just... They lend themselves to a foil treatment, right? I almost just threw the cards down there instead of the pack. <coughs> so here's a Forest. A Tajuru Paragon for our rare. Jawari Disruption, Ravager's Mace, and a Roiling Regrowth. Uh, let's make sure there's no... Okay. Uh, so... Oh, yeah. No, I, I, I agree, Mason. Uh, Core Warrior Token, Swamp, uh, Foil Mesa Lynx, Skyclave Apparition for our rare. Vastwood Fortification. Base Camp. And a Skyclave Shadowcat. Meow. Um, so, Feth, Mason, what do you what do you think uh, is in my box topper pack? Anybody want to guess on what expedition I got? Just so you know... Me and along with everybody else, we're hoping for uh, Cavern of Souls. Um, I've always wanted one. Never did buy one. Nimble Trap Finder. Um, Kazul's Fury. Ameria Captain. Roost of Drakes. Um, oh, another showcase. See, that would be a gorgeous foil too. A little squiddy. The Black Mythic. Oh, good job, Mason. That's awesome. The borderless... Oh, the Demir. Okay. Uh, another. Plains. Swamp. Oh, that's a foil. Ha! I'm like, what? There's two lands. I'll take a foil full art swamp. Ooh, we got the ooze. Got the ooze. Very nice. Kabir Takedown, Thundering Rebuke, and a Kite Soul Cleric. And see if there's any... No. My piles are getting kind of out of control. Alright, let's focus back here. Thank you. Island, Shadow's Verdict. Juwari Disruption, Spring Mantle Cleric, and a Thundering Spark Mage. You know, that Thundering Spark Mage has come up a few times now for being a uncommon, right? Oh, you know what? I didn't check that. Let's see if there's any... Oh, there he is right there. <laughs> oh, you want Valakut, Mason? Yeah. Forest... Charix, the Raging Isle. Look at that Leviathan, little crab boy. Ain't he cute? I love the little crab. Spikefield Hazard, Thwart the Grave, and Allied Assault. Let's see if there's any in here. Nope. Oh, Valakut's only 22 bucks right now? Oh, yeah. See, you know, and it's like the professor always says, right? Buy singles, not packs. That's always the smart thing to do. Um, and I can't say I disagree with him. Um, another foil. And it's a legendary. Linvala Shield of Seagate. Not bad, huh? Zoff Consumption, Skyclave, Geopede. Look at that guy. Could you imagine... 
you're out camping and you stick your feet into your sleeping bag and you zip it up and you're all about ready to go to sleep and all of a sudden you feel its tiny legs crawling across your ankle. <sighs> Sorry, I shouldn't have done that to myself, let alone you guys. I can't stand creepy crawly things. And poor Fef, she just had a knockdown drag out battle with a brown recluse a little bit ago. Thought I was going to have to send her a flamethrower. Send in reinforcements. Supply drop. Right, Fef? Maybe I'll, I'll send it anyways then. Get you prepared. Hello. Come on. Okay. Oh, and there's another mythic. I love this art so much. Ashaya, Soul of the Wild. This art is so freaking cool. I love it. Nice pull. Uh, Bayin Vale, Allied Assault, and a Cinderclasm. Yeah. Flamethrower in the house. Oh, and a Spitfire Legac Showcase. Oop. Helps if I put it in the frame. So, Mason, do you play, uh, you play Commander? If so, what is your, what's your favorite Commander? Uh, got an Inscription of Rune for our rare. Tangled Florahedron. I love that art, too. Look at that. That's so cute. I love it. Grotog Nightrunner. Oh, what am I doing? See? Got me all messed up here. And a Veteran Adventurer. Da, 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 da. And a canopy bayloth for the showcase frame. Oh yeah, no, uh, Ashaya is really sweet. Very nice uh, legendary creature pool. So I'm only at three mythics. Um, does any have either of you or anybody else seen um, on YouTube or whatever what the normal drop rate is uh, for boxes now that they've opened quite a few? Oh, foil rare, and it's a dual, modal dual face card. Valakut Awakening. Oh, and with a dual land behind it. That's awesome. Um, it's going to be the Orzov land. Grim Climb and Bright Climb. Uh, another Journey to Oblivion. Very nice. And a dread worm. Three seems average, Fef. Okay. Your favorite casual commander is felled on. Right on. Yeah, I I, I have about twelve or thirteen decks uh, for commander. Um, I I'm a highly casual player though, so I I don't have any uh, sick combos or anything like that. It's mostly tribal. Um. So I, I, to me, it's it's more about sitting down with a group and and playing, you know. Excuse me. Um, it's just not in my nature to be that competitive. So I just build whatever I have fun with. Oh, uh, you play competitive? Okay. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I mean it's for some people. It's just not. I got a forest. Oh, and a Kaza Royal Chaser. Another legendary. Very nice. Balligid Recovery, Vine Gecko, and an Attended Healer. Oh, Budget Competitive, right on. Uh, if I were to do a competitive deck, it would have to be Budget. <laughs> yes. Um, my buddy Alex would probably be very interested in this card. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll probably... You know what? I'm going to I'm going to go ahead 500. I mean, for for CEDH, yes, I would call 500 a budget deck. For regular EDH, no. No, I I would say that's that's pretty high. Um I'm going to set that aside. Um
Yeah, I read that article, Fev. I I saw your I saw your Verena deck. I got you. I even made a comment on it, I believe. Uh, Islands. Oh, another mythic. Turn Timble Symbiosis. And a Turn Timber Serpentine Wood on the back. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know how good that card is. I don't know if it has any value. Um, yeah. Oh, your Savala deck is 300. See, that's... I mean... Yeah. Uh, that To me, that doesn't seem very high. I mean, it, yeah, it, relatively speaking, $300 is a lot of money for some fancy cardboard. However, when you think about it, um, just almost any old regular deck, unless you, um, unless you want to go super budget and you're like trying to build one uh, build a, a deck out of Sona's Jankmander series, and you're like, I've got a $50 budget or something like that, and you're using, you know, Fallen Empires and Chronicles and stuff like that. Um, hello? Mountain. Skyclave Shade. Palaka Predation, Cinderclasm, and Lil Mage Domination. Let's see if there's any showcase. See, and no offense to you, Mason, or anybody else that plays that way. That That's one of the main reasons why I don't play competitive EDH. Is, to me, a game of Magic has not been played if it's over in three turns. Um, I, I enjoy the longer games. I enjoy the swings back and forth, uh, you know, advantage, disadvantage, stuff like that. Um, but you know, to each their own. Um, I'm, I'm certainly open for everybody enjoying the game how they like. Um, and I will not, uh, bemoan anybody for, for doing that. So, oh, fell at our retreat. Kabira takedown, wind rider wizard and thwart the grave. Uh, see if there's any other. Right. Yeah, and 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 that's you know, I I think you would be hard pressed to find anybody that has, um, just one commander deck, right? Uh, they're gonna have probably two, three, four, you know, all the way up to some people on Twitter I've seen have, you know, in the t 10, 20, 30, 40 decks. Um. Yeah. Now, see, 30 minutes, Mason is is not bad for me. Um, I, I don't think that's too quick. Um, and, and I guess you got to also take into account most pods are four players, right? And so three turns around the whole table. Uh, yeah, okay. It, it makes more sense when you look at it that way, but definitely, um, I, I prefer, I, not that I prefer it, but I, I enjoy the, you know, one to two hour games to me that that's, they're fun. Uh, we got a plant token. Mountain, a Zagros Thief of Heartbeats for a rare. Another Bayin Veil, Low Mage's Familiar, and a Vastwood Surge. Three turns last 30 minutes seniors when I play. A... Yeah, Fef, the Vampire Rogue. Man, could you imagine having all your party out and then dropping this for two mana? That'd be crazy good, right? You know, I, I really want to see, have either of you been playing on Arena to see if, you know, the party is really being taken advantage of? Or if that's just kind of like a, is it kind of like a, a, a side thing that nobody's really building around? Because I know Uro is still a problem, and maybe not after Monday, we'll see. Um, I know some people are having their fingers crossed on that, but... Forest, Squad Commander, uh, Umara Wizard, Fireblade Charger, and a Marasa Root Grazer. Oh, isn't he cute? You know, the nose and, and, and head region there 
almost this almost looks like um falcor the luck dragon from the never-ending story and they gave him some some horns off the side right yes that that is now canon this is this is falcor after he grew horns and they uh put him on zendikar so hashtag that happened right Yeah, you know, it's it's been a while since I did Arena 2. Um just because I I got the 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 feel bads um around the last rotation. Um and it really felt like a daunting task to have to rebuild my collection to stay competitive. So, I guess, you know, standard for me I'll get back it. Oh. Oh. What is that? All right, folks. We've either... I think we've got an extended art dual land. Yep. This is the Selesnia dual land. And I'm sorry, I think... Does that qualify as full art? I think it does. Even though there's a bit of a border down here. Um, but man, I, I love these so much. So cool. This, this, uh, yeah, branch loft, loft pathway, but reminds me so much of, uh, giant beanstalk, right? Borderless. There we go. I couldn't, you know, it, it, it's hard to, to really nail down <laughs> with all the variations per card these days. Um, it, it's hard to know what, or remember what to call them. Um, I don't know if that's really worth extra, but I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the sleeve real quick just because I have them here. Uh, Fearless Fledgling, Relic Axe, and a Cargan War Leader. Um, well, toppers are important now because they are, there are fetches in there. Um, they're expeditions, so it has the expedition frame. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I've always been a fan of toppers myself. Um, and it, it kind of putting them, putting the expeditions in as box toppers kind of gets rid of the argument that I had where I agreed with the professor, right? Where I enjoyed buying Kaladesh, Aether Revolt, Amonkhet, Hour of Devastation, um, just for the sheer possibility of opening one of the lottery cards, right? And then they started selling the VIP packs and the Mythic Editions and, you know, collector packs and everything. And and my whole thing all along was, hey, put these back in draft booster packs and you will sell packs, right? You're, you're right, Fef. And I think what what we're going to see is they're gonna, there's going to have to be some consolidation of products, right? Because they're, they're fracturing their product line. You've got draft boosters, set boosters, collector boosters, theme boosters. Um, and to me, that, that waters down the market. And so the enfranchised players, we know what we want, right? We know what to buy, right? The commander decks, um, but for new, newer or new players to the game, they're going to see all these different things. And, you know, you give somebody too many options and they get paralysis by analysis and they don't know what to choose. So I really think we might see a consolidation of products. Um, and, and maybe not. Maybe, maybe you set boosters are going to sell like gangbusters and and you know collector boosters continue to sell because they're just they're like printing money um at least for core 21 i bought a single pack uh from a barnes and noble because i happen to be there for my daughter and in that pack i opened a full art foil ugin and an alternate art to fairy so i mean I paid 25 bucks for the pack and opening those two cards alone. It's insane value. Right. 
no, I, I feel you. I, I, I feel it's a lot of products and, um, you know, whether it hurts or helps them in the long run, we'll find out eventually. Come on. Oh my God. Okay. So this is a foil mythic and, Tazri Beacon of Unity. Delicious foil mythic rare. Hey, Chaos. Thanks for joining us. How you going? How you... Okay. Okay. Do you, do you all see this? Do you see this? Double mythic pack. You, you didn't miss it. You got in right on time. <laughs> double mythic and it's the same one. Literally double mythic. Twins. I don't... I wonder what the odds of that are. A anybody know? But that... I, I like that. I, I can't say that that's a bad thing at all. Um, as I knock all these lands off of my desk. Um, wow. So... If anybody wants to clip that... You're more than welcome to. Um... Because I would love to share that after the stream. And uh, of course you did, Feth. Thank you so much. Um, by the way, I just want to say, uh, Mason and Chaos and Feth, thank you so much for joining my first stream uh, with the Lotus Council. Um, this wasn't planned, so um, I appreciate you joining us and, and showing your support. So this this box is uh, turning out to be pretty good, I guess, huh? So we got a swamp, luminarch aspirant, vastwood fortification, sure-footed infiltrator, and a numara mystic, and a kazandu nectar pot. Very nice. <laughs> Right? I, I feel like Chaos came in at the right time to give me some good luck for my Expedition box topper. But I have one more pack here from the box, and then we'll get to that box topper. Come on, Cavern of Souls. All right. Cat Beast, Mountain, Foil Canopy Birth, and a Knoll Priest of Oblivion. Menace Lifelink Kicker 4. When it answers the battlefield, if it was kicked, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. Uh, Spike Field Hazard, Shadow Stinger, and a Taunting Arbor Mage. All right. Oh, Alexa, turn on the bedroom light. Sorry about that. My light is uh, scheduled to go off every night at 10 p.m. Um, okay. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see. Come on. Ah! Of course it's going to do this to me. Oh, it was starting to separate. Jeez. They, you know, they make the pack so hard to open, and it's just one card, so you're trying not to bend it. All right. What did we get? Oh, Prismatic Vista. Man. I'll take it. But I wish it was a Cavern of Souls. It is Fef, or Mason, I'm sorry. No, it is Fef. Um, I can't, reading is hard. Typing is hard for you. Reading is hard for me. Um, yeah, no, I, I love the expedition frame. The art is great. Um, so there's that. So since we're on a roll, um, 
oh, by the way, that box had five mythics, one, or I'm sorry, six, that box had six mythic rares. Six mythic rares. And one of them is a foil. So I don't think I can complain about that box. What do you guys think? Or what What do you all think? Um, and my apologies. I'm trying to work on my pronouns. Uh, it's just force of habit. Um, so I will set this stuff aside. Um, I will put my mythics in sleeves in a bit. Um, in the meantime, let me move these cards over to the box. Yeah, yeah, and Ayasha, Nissa, yeah, it was, uh, pulled a Showcase Lotus Cobra, um, this one's really pretty, really cool, um, so we're going to, oops, let's move these over here, get all my lands together borderless flippity and yes yeah Fef, it, it was a great box i'm 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 super happy with it um super happy with it okay so. all right um Okay, so what do you, what do you all think? Do you want me to do another, should we do another draft box or should we do a set booster box? Let me know what y'all think. Set booster? Okay. So... Uh, so this box right here was courtesy of Wizards of the Coast. They sent this to Project MTG and myself. Um, this came with some really cool spice. Okay. Um, I don't know if you all saw the Twitter post I had put up, but it came with three Zendikar Rising collector packs, which I think we'll go ahead and open those first. Um, it came with one of each of the commander decks from Zendikar Rising. And it also came with this. And we will go ahead and open that right now. Thank you very much to Wizards of the Coast for sending Project MTG and myself this free product. It's very much appreciated. Okay. So this. This is the coup de gras. Well, not really. I mean, those are. <laughs> so um, I will... We'll, we'll get into these first, and then and then we'll get into this set booster. Um, so we'll take a look at that in just a minute. Okay, so... All right, and these don't have the pre-thing, so let's just... Oh, right on top. Foil copy token. That is so rad. Look at that. Okay. Angel Heart Protector. Nemana Skitter Sneak. Risen Riptide. Marasa Brute. Utility Knife. Canyon Jerboa. Iridescent Horn Beetle. 
Oh, foils. I love the full art foils. They're so nice. Ooh, a Skyclave Apparition. Oh, and a foil dual land. Very nice. Prowling Felidar. Rune Crab. You know, I've heard people uh, are not very happy with Rune Crab on Twitter. A Phylath World Sculptor Showcase Frame. So cool. Man, I love that. So nice. A Foil Canyon Jerboa. Oh, hey, Feffy. Would you like an extended art foil rogue? <laughs> I mean, you're not going to say no, right? I'll just put that in the sleeve. <laughs> Give me foil everything, right? Um, foil everything. Okay, so Mason, I know you were talking about earlier insects are cool. I agree with you, as long as they look like this. Specifically. A foil magic card. <laughs> All right. Scorch Rider. Chilling Trap. Kazandu Nectar Pot. Glacial Grasp. Feed the Swarm. Wind Rider Wizard. Spikefield Hazard. Ooh, a foil island. That's probably got to be worth a couple bucks, right? Oh, no. Ooh, Nimble Trap Finder Extended Art. Not bad, right? It is, right, Chaos? Throne of McKindy Foil. Uh, see, I, I, I'm really torn on the cost of these collector packs, and I, I don't think... I, I really don't think they should have commons in them. But that's that's a different that's a whole nother discussion, right? Territorial scythe cat. Oh, Feff! <laughs> oh my! I was just saying I loved the borderless Nahiri art, right? You you love to see it. Oh, and a foil dreadworm. Oh, and a scatter shatter skull charger extended art foil. Yeah, that, that Nahiri, I just, I love that. It's so, so nice. you think I would flip these upside down and put them in there right. Okay. So let's see what's coming in the next pack, right? One more collector's pack. Let's go. Oh, and I got a, okay, that. That plant token is very pretty. I love that. That's so cool. All right. Kabira Outrider. Inordinate Rage. Drawn a Silencer. Sizzling Barrage. Deadly Alliance. Moss Pit Skeleton. Mind Carver. God, that art is so cool. That would be a rad tattoo. Does anybody say rad anymore? Or is it just me? Get off my lawn. Ooh, foil planes. This is so pretty. Okay. Throne of McKindy. Extended art. Oh, and a foil name. <laughs> nice. I mean, that that's, that's a nice art too, but for a different reason. Spitfire Legac, McKindy Ox, Skyclave Shade, ooh, Skyclave Shade Showcase, Foil Common, Kazandu Nectar Pot, oh, ooh, and a Foil Soul Shatter, that's nice, all right, come here, Nahiri, you're, you're going in a, 
in a sleeve. So what, what do you think? What, which one's y'all's favorite? The borderless or the regular foil? Ah, I mean, she's foil, but the borderless. This one? I mean, that, that art is pretty amazing. I, I gotta say. All right. Well, those were... Very nice. So thanks again to Wizards of the Coast for providing those free products for me to bring to all of you on the channel. And let's get into the set booster box. So for those of you that don't know, the set booster boxes are... Um, it's a weird box. It's kind of like... Um, the master's boxes, right? Because it's it's less packs. So the packaging is a bit different. Um, so when you open it up, you have this um, kind of like thingy, tray thingy here. And then you have three rows of 10 booster packs. So I'm just going to pull these guys out of here. Um, this booster box is also courtesy of Wizards of the Coast. Thank you again for the free product. So we're going to set these off to the side here and get to opening. Okay, so these packs open normally. They're not like the... Uh... Oh, check that out. That's the that's the Nighthawk guy, right? I can't think of the name of the card, but we, we did open one in our previous draft box. Okay, so these are the correct way. So we go all the way through Roost of Drakes. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you know, Chaos, I've, I've, I, the art cards are growing on me. Especially the gold stamped ones, and and I, I really think that's what they were going for. Um, did I miss something? What's going on here? Okay. Roiling Vortex for our rare. A foil Teeter Peak Ambusher. Hoo -hoo! And my first card from the list is a M15 Chain Veil. Oh my gosh. Ah, I love this card. That's so awesome. All right. By the way, I forgot about the list until just now. I, I'm a mythic at the back. I'm like, what is this? Um, so yeah, that's. Hey, I, I can't, I can't disagree with you, Fef. Um, th this is turning out pretty great. So first pack had a uh, rare and a mythic. So, right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chaos. We might have to uh, hook you up with... Some... Okay, see? This is also the Planeswalker I need to pull in the, the borderless form. This art is awesome. Oh, happy birthday to Zelda. That's awesome. Love when the little ones have birthdays. Did y'all have a cake and everything for her? cupcakes <laughs> did she get a little messy with them because that you know it's not a birthday unless you get messy with the with the cupcakes or the cake right uh, shatter skull charger uh, foil mckinney ox and a drake token <laughs> your house is destroyed are there any? I don't know. Um, I I don't know that we that we even have access to the full list, right? Fef, I think it's um, it's just been explained as a list of cards that are influential to Magic over its history. Um, I could be completely wrong on that, 
but they're made. Oh, someone did type it out. Oh, well, then they are ahead of me. Ooh, look at that art card. That's so cool. I'm sure somebody's going to figure out something rad to do with these. Okay, if I pulled a Ren and Six, I'd be happy. Uh, foil Planes, very nice. Um, so we're going to put that there. Negate, Nahiri's Binding. So the uncommons and commons are interspersed with each other, so I can't really... Um, okay, here's a Borderless Dual Land. That's nice. Very nice. Um, and another token. Um, yeah, that's that's really cool that uh, <laughs> my first pack had a card from the list, and it was a nice mythic. Oh, yes! Oh, see, I was just saying in the last box that this card's art is awesome. And look at this. Look at that gloss with the gold stamp signature. Okay, I, I'm definitely becoming a fan of these. I really am. I think what, what this is going to segue into for me, unfortunately, is I, I may have to become a uh, MTG art collector. And that is not something that my wife is going to be happy about. Yeah. That is so... Ah, oh, I, I can't even say that this is gorgeous. I, I'm going to put it in a sleeve, even though it's just an art card. Um, I, I don't want that gloss or that signature to get messed up. That's so nice. Got to love it. Uh, no, the other art ones I have pulled are not, um, not signed. Uh, a very small percentage of the art cards will have that gold stamp signature on it. Excuse me, the gold stamp foil signature. Uh, so far, just that one, yes. Ooh, Drana, the last blood chief. Another vampire cleric, mythic. Wait. What? And a Valakut exploration rare behind it? And then a, a foil rock slide sorcerer? Yeah, I can't. So, uh, I don't know if you all know the... Oh, right. She's great. Um, that's another one, Feth, where the art is just so stinking cool. I love it. Um, yeah, the, the commons and uncommons are mixed, all mixed in. Because you can get a, you know, differing number. Oh, there you go. Foil Swamp. Very nice. Foil Swamp. Seafloor. Uh, another token at the back. Bright Climb Pathway. Oh, and a Foil Yasharn Implacable Earth. Come on. Come on. It doesn't. It doesn't want to. Focus. There we go. It's the elemental boar. Watch out. And a copy token. Copy, copy. Oh, yeah. Landfall is probably one of my favorite mechanics. Um, God, these are so beautiful. So nice. Oop, got another foil in the back. Come on. It doesn't want to focus on the cards because of the chain veil, so I'm going to move it. How about that? Okay. Oh, another glass pool mimic. Skyclave Apparition and an Angel Warrior. 
Yeah, I kicked right of replication. Uh, didn't I? Didn't. Oh, you're right. Good call, Fef. Safe in its sleevy home. Not skeevy, sleevy. <laughs> uh, let's see, what did I do here? Okay. Of course, of course. Thank you, thank you. I, I don't know why I hadn't sleeved it in the first place. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Um, island... Spitfire Legac. Canopy Bayloth. Uh, Swarm Shambler. Prowling Felidar. And a Sky Hussar. Uh, probably not the one that you want to see from the list. For sure. Um... Actually, I don't know much about this card, to be honest with you. Um, so I'll set that one aside because it's not a rare or mythic. Um, let's see. Another beautiful art card. Forest. Might of Marassa. Royal... There's so many, so many, um, hey, Fef, got something for you. So, what, what do you think? Should I put this one in a sleeve, Fef? That might go handy in one of your decks, huh? <laughs> and of course it comes in the set booster box right oh there you go like these the gloss on these are so nice makes them really really stand out oh foil mountain expedition healer Canyon Jerboa, Master of Winds. Oh, a Grok Maw Skyclave Ravager. Not bad, right? Um, and then... Ooh, that card feels really weird. Um, another one from the list, Blightsickle. Can somebody tell me what a common is doing on the list especially this common anybody know <laughs> that's true it does interesting uh, we'll put that there with the other list card right specifically me we're going to hose court. You know, so far I have not got a repeat art card, so that's good. Planes. <laughs> right, Fef? I'm not complaining too much yet. Oh! <laughs> Gotta love it. Hello, my friend Omnath. Focus on him. Do as I say. Come on. All right, whatever. It doesn't want to focus on him. Uh, and a foil broken wings from the uh, ZNR. Focus. Oh, there we go. Maybe. I don't know. It doesn't want to. But that's awesome. Um, right? Yeah. Omnath is now four colors. There's too much. You can't. Even, the camera can't even focus on him. 
Oh, you, you like the kitty? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. I feel like it's wearing a holster. Like, okay. <laughs> oh, there you go. Swamp. Jujuru, Ghastly. Balaged, Riptide. Oh, hey, Fef, look, we each get one. I think that works. Does that work for you? I think that works for me. <laughs> so, so far... This uh, the set booster box is pretty good, I'd say. Oh yeah! Oh check out! Oh yeah! Like ow! I've got a headache. <laughs> Sorry, that was that was bad. Um, Somehow, these cards, they kind of feel thicker. Another Legion Angel. Cunning Geyser Mage. And a Latchkey Fairy from... What is that? What's, what set is that? I'm, I'm drawing a blank here. Anybody in chat know what set? Morning Tide. Okay, thank you. Oh, hey, we got our first uh, mini game card. Oh, hey, look. That's relevant. I really like that. Art card. Mountain. Oh, I keep forgetting to put that in there. Yeah, the fairies were great. Uh, Bright Climb Pathway. And a Luminarch Aspirant. And a core celebrant foil. So here is our first magic mini game card called Strictly Better. So three to six players, three to six packs, 15 minutes. Objective Some cards are strong and standard, others shine and draft, but which card looks the tastiest? Take turns being the judge and decide which magic card is the best of the best in each wacky category. Get ready. Randomly determine who will be the first judge. Each player then opens a pack, removes any cards without magic card backs, and looks at their cards. Let's play. The judge chooses a category from the list on the back of this card, either their favorite or at random. The other players each secretly submit a card from their pack that they think fits the category. When the judge has collected all the cards, they reveal each card, read it aloud, then choose the winner. The judge roll then passes to the next player, and they select a different category. So here's the category. So look at all these different categories. So, you know, I think this could be fun to just be sitting around with a, a group of friends or, a, you know, a draft uh, pod and, and just go through one of these real quick while you're waiting for other people or something. I, I really think this would be fun. So that that's neat. We'll set that aside. Right, Fef? Best pet. Last picked in dodgeball. <laughs> oh, and then look. Very next pack has the next mini game, which we'll get to. Uh, Forest, Prowling Felidar, Akum Hellhound. So we really want to... Oh, Throne of McKindy. Okay. Oh, another Mythic. Turn Timber Symbiosis. And Turn Timber Serpentine Wood with another rare, Kaza Royal Chaser. So, so far, that's two rares and a mythic in this one pack. And a Scavenge Blade Foil. So, let, let, let's recap that there. Because, you know, you have a chance for up to four mythics, technically, right? A very slim, slim chance. Um, so, in this pack, we got two rares... And a 
dual face mythic two rares and a dual face mythic yeah so i mean you you really can't go wrong there um okay so this one if it'll there we go so you get three packs give one basic land to each player then remove any remaining land cards and any cards without magic backs shuffle the remaining cards together and deal 11 cards to each player each player then puts their cards looks at their cards and arranges them face down in a four by three grid opposite their opponent the completed play area should be four by six with no extra spaces the first player to finish their grid goes first. Oh, that's a lot to read. I think I'm going to skip that for now. Um, yeah. We'll set that aside. We'll just get into more packs here. Holy dang. Oh, and there's another one. Um, okay, we did get a repeat there of that art card. Uh, let's see. Prowling Felidar. All right, a Crag Plate Baloth. Ooh, look at that pretty foil right there. Valakut Exploration. Very nice. And a Planty Token. All right. Oh, there we go. That's really nice. Ooh. Planes. Malakir, Blood Priest. Okay. Shadow's Verdict. Angel Heart Protector. And an Illusion Token. Yeah, the camera doesn't like when it can see other stuff like on the sides of my hands. I can't say I blame it, though. Uh, there we go. Mountain. Oops. Squad Commander. Kazandu Stomper. Oh, and a freaking split card. Beck and Call. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... hide that really quickly so you're not going to see me for a little bit because I keep drifting over to the left hand side and well we don't want you all to miss the cards swamp geopede maddening cacophony cacophony yeah that's such a weird word and a kabira takedown foil with a meow cat beast token. <sighs> Definitely getting hosed here, y'all. Oh, hey, look, Fef. Another signature one. Totally cool. Forest. Oh, hey, another Lotus Cobra showcase. Yes. So nice. Oh, and another mythic, Emeria's Call. I don't know if this will be played, but, you know, we'll see. And a Tuck Tuck Rubble Fort. And a cute little construct guy. Oh. All right. Another art. River Glide Pathway, Magmatic Channeler Foil. So, so far, almost every single pack, right, has had at least two rares, I would say. Oh, that's cool. Foil Island. Love to see it. 
Now here he's lithoforming and a Hagra constrictor with a Drake. That's two Drakes in a row. Uh oh. Yeah, Chaos, the, the set boosters are um they're pretty neat. I, I really am liking them. I have another set booster box coming to me, um, but it won't be here until Monday. Oh, another Zagros, Thief of Heartbeats. And a Foil Narlud Colony. Oh, and look, a Felwar Stone from the list. Uh, have to remember to keep stuff out of the camera. Okay. Cool art. Planes. Let's see. Oh. Now here he's lithoforming. Uh, Kazandu Nectar Pot. And a advertisement card. <laughs> oh, hang on one second, folks. Uh, Got to clear away some of the stiff. Felwar Stones, five bucks, Feth? I didn't even know that. Oh, that's totally cool. There we go. Like, how do you orientate that? I didn't see it first. Foil Forest, very nice. Oh, there we go. Verizol, the Split Current. Come on. And a common foil come on hello doesn't want to focus focus all right let's try another pack Let's see. Thieving Skydiver. Linvala, Shield of Seagate. Come on. Oh, you know what? Why did that come back? There we go. Okay. There we go. Thieving Skydiver. Another Linvala. Oh, and a foil mythic. Holy Christmas. So two rares and a foil mythic. The dual face card. Man, these packs are awesome. <laughs> right? Holy Christmas. <laughs> oh, he's got some fungi. Along for the ride. No. Okay. Islands. So let's see here. Come on. You could do it, I promise. Okay. I don't know why it doesn't want to do it. Probably because of the other stuff I have. Oh, Scoot Swarm. Scoot, Scoot, Scoot. Okay, I will do that, Fef. I, I just, I think I saw it. It kind of focused better when it was a little lower. Ah, oh, there we go. Swamp. Might of Marasa, Inscription of Abundance, Lithoform Blight, and another 
doohickey. Oh, there we go. See? That's so cool. I love that. Island. Shadows Verdict. Maddening and Cacophony. Smite the Monstrous. So, so far, I've opened five cards from the list in this box. The list. Oh, there you go. You definitely don't want to forget your snacks for this pet when you uh, go to try and see it. Um, Skyclave Shade in Showcase Frame. Foil Tempest and a Zendikar Incarnate. Interesting. So uh, make that six cards. <laughs> All right, last pack. Oh, look, it's the island, the cup island. Planes. A myriad construct. Soul shatter. Expedition diviner. And a hammer mage. Wait a second. It's hammer time. Da, no, 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 no. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards from the list. I think that was that was my last pack out of the set booster box. So we will. Aha! I didn't see where I put the box. So. All right, let's stick these cards. Let's move this up. And then we're going to put some of these cards back in this box. So there's that. Um, put these with that. So many rares and mythics that were just opened. Um Yeah, you know, I didn't even read it. Discard a card from your hand. Destroy all artifacts with converted mana cost X or less. Wow. That seems like it would be very helpful in Commander. Like, as in very helpful. Um... So this this set booster box is a little different, Chaos, um, because this one was in the package from Wizards of the Coast. Um, there was no uh, Expedition Topper in this box. Um, I don't know why. I do know that um, all of the other content creators that received the package, it was the same way. Um, but no complaints from me. Um, this was completely awesome, uh, of them to do. They did not have to send me this package, um, and we're very grateful for it. Very grateful. Um, so going on to other things, right? Um, I do have one more spicy thing to open, um, No, that's my that's my 2xm uh, box topper um, let me see where did I put it um, by the way Fef, um, I I blame blame you <laughs> um, where to go? Aha! 
So let me get my four or five dice sets out of here. Um, and we're going to open this little bit of spiciness really quickly. Okay, so... Here's a Luminarch Aspirant. Royal Eruption. And a Shatter the Sky. So that's Theros Beyond Death, Zendikar Rising, and Zendikar Rising. Little, little promo pack there. So we'll put that with that and this over here. Um, yeah, that that pretty much uh, does my packs for tonight. Um, I will have more boxes to open. Um, I will have another set booster box and another draft booster box. Um, the draft one I have right here, but I'm going to wait until I get my next set box. And like I said, that'll be in on Monday. Um, and then... Uh, I'll work with Sebastian to figure out when he's streaming next week, and then I'll take a day um, that he's not already streaming. So with that, uh, Fef, Chaos, Mason, thank you all so much for joining me for my very first stream with the Lotus Council. I appreciate your support. Have a great night, and have a wonderful weekend. And we will see you all on the Discord. Thanks so much. Bye now.